Welcome to TP's Talk. Hi everyone, be positive in your attitude as well as activities in these days. Wishes of the day. As a part of your development, I had sent you so many videos as well as some worksheets for the last two weeks for your information and practice. I hope you are doing it. First session, we discussed about some habits development. And in this second session, we are discussing so many matters regarding your skill development. Out of which, you are getting one sheet in every day with the five words in different languages. In this 30 days, you are going to learn 150 words in each language. So it is to develop your skill development in vocabulary. So I hope you are following very much about it. You must know one important thing. Any person who is perfect, smart or genius, he needs all this function on its best level. There is a finding that even a perfect person or a genius person is only utilizing 10% of the mind balance 90% is unused. And to make use of that 10% also, we need practice. So today we are going to discuss and demonstrate how we can develop our mind and utilize it in a well manner. There is a saying that a stress-free person makes sound mind. To more clear, I'll give you one example with a question. Could you write the exam effectively when you are in stress? Like fear, depression, any disease or any problem from the house or anywhere. Not possible because you are in stress. So to clear off your stress and make sound mind, yoga is the best practice you can do. There are two benefits of yoga. One is you can control your breath and body flexibility. There is a saying that if you can control your breath, you can control whole world. Do you notice that our breath is different in our different actions and emotions? Like cry, laugh, happy, sad, run, walk, etc. Best example of breath control can be seen while we are putting thread into the needle. We are holding our breath and doing at the maximum level to succeed in it. Correct? Nowadays, yoga is used universally as a part of meditation. And those who are practicing yoga are getting more concentration in their prayers too. Today, Shraddha Ravindran of Malabar English School, Matanur, studying in 6th standard, going to demonstrate you few steps of yoga. Very easy, simple steps, which all you can practice it. So, let us watch. Doing our work with full concentration is yoga. Children learn it, do it and be healthy and free of diseases by keeping our body beautiful. Use either a mat or a sheet to do the yoga. Uttanasan Stand straight. Keep your body straight. Inhale a deep breath and bend your both hands backwards slowly. Then bend your body frontwards by releasing your full breath. Don't bend your knees. Do this four times. Sit in Padmasana. Inhale a deep breath by raising your both hands upwards. Hold your breath. One, two, Three, breathe out slowly by moving your hands downwards. Do this four times. Supta Virasan Lie down. Fold your legs backwards from the knees. Stretch your hands with a deep breath in. Stay in the same position. One, two, three. Breathe out and come to the original position slowly. Repeat this at least four times. Dhanurasan Lie down. Hold your both legs as shown. Take a deep breath. Raise your head and look up. Slowly breathe out and come to the original position. Repeat this four times. 
Now Kasan. Lie down. Inhale a deep breath by raising your legs, hands and head as shown. Hold the breath for a little while. Then exhale slowly and come to the original position. Do this four times. Balasan. Sit in Vajrasana. Take a deep breath and bend backwards by raising your both hands up. Come down slowly by breathing out completely as shown. Do this four times. Paschimottanasana Sit down and keep your back straight. Raise your hands by breathing in and bend downwards by breathing out as shown. Repeat this four times. Butterfly Sit as shown. Adjust your legs like this by inhaling and exhaling. Do as shown. Keep your back straight. Do this for 2 or 3 minutes. Bhujangasan Lie down and spread your hands and legs as shown by taking a deep breath. Raise half of your body up and keep still for 3 or 4 seconds. Then slowly come back to the original position by breathing out slowly. Repeat this for 4 or 5 times. The next yoga is for relaxation. Give energy to your joints, wrist, elbow, shoulders, etc. Rotate clockwise and anti-clockwise. Repeat this for 3 or 4 minutes. Shavasana Lie down and relax. Close your eyes. Breathe in and out normally for 5 minutes. Relax. Concentrate on your thoughts. Be in a happy, pleasant mood. View all your asanas you have done now one by one. Relax your whole body. Visualize your whole body. From your toes, your legs, your body, your hands and your head. Concentrate on your thoughts. After 5 minutes, get up. Give energy and be energetic. Thank you. I hope you all liked it, correct? So you have to practice yoga in the morning after your regular exercise. And you can do the brain exercise in the evening. And don't forget, rewrite and learn the words which I have given. It is a vocabulary skill development. Okay. So till next video with a new excellent brain exercise. Till that, bye bye.